hello guys welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to go over uh, the difference between the primary and the prefer and this is for the juniper juno so s and this is for the interface option um, primary versus preferred that you need to know in order to pass the Gencia certification uh, the primary address on an interface is the address that is used by default as the local address for broadcast multicast packets and source locally and sent out of the interface uh, so therefore primary is used for broadcast and multicast packets so broadcast means um, those packets that are sent to everybody um, multicast are those packets that are sent to a specific group of people like uh, whoever is using a dynamic routing protocol of OSPF or BGP and anything like that and also whenever it is um, going from it's going sourced locally it's another interface so whenever you're going to ping a remote location you are going to use the primary um, interface and by default the primary address on an interface is selected as the numerically lowest local address configure on the interface so if you don't specify that you want this interface as the primary then um, Juno OS is going to um, it's going to select the lowest local address. So let's let's say for example you have configure uh, 172.16.1.1 and 172.16.1.2 and 172.16.1.3. And if you don't specify which one you want to be, which one you want to, uh, which IP address you want to be the primary, uh, what Juno OS is going to do is it's going to take the lowest local address, which is 172.16.1.1, and it's going to assign that primary. Um, option basically right and prefer uh, prefer address on an interface is a default local address used for packets sourced by the local router to destination on the same on the same on the subnet so prefer um, whenever you ping an interface or a device on the same network it is going to be used the prefer um, address if you are going to ping somebody outside of your subnet it is going to use a primary remember that and also primary is used for local address uh, local address for broadcast and multicast packets so you need to remember that, that is the difference between prefer and, and primary primary goes out or whenever you ping a remote device it is going to use a primary and it's also use broadca bro broadcast and multicast packets prefer is when you are going to ping somebody or, or a device in the same subnet, it is going to use the preferred um, IP address. And by default, just the same, just the same as primary, um, by default, um, the numerically lowest local address is chosen. So if you don't specify which IP address or which, yeah, which IP address you want as a preferred IP address, if you don't, if you don't choose one, then the lowest um, local address is going to be chosen as a preferred. For example, if the address 172.16.1.1 and 172.16.1.2 and 172.16.1.3 are configured on the same interface, the preferred address on the subnets by default is going to be the lowest one if you don't specify. So you need to specify. Uh, will be used as the local address when you um, issue a ping command to the same network 172.16.1.5. So let's go ahead and do a lab like always. You want to lab it up always. And I'm going to go ahead and configure um these two vsrx's which are juniper uh, firewall and we are going to configure those two we are going to configure primary or 20.1.1.2 and i prefer for 20.1.1.1 for this vsrx and for this other vsrx we are going to configure a prefer for 20.1.1.4 and a primary for 20.1.1.3 so as you can see right now uh you see this uh sign right here this aim SIAC means that um, it is a brand new uh, I haven't configured anything on this uh, on this VSRX so we are going to go to root you can see that there is no password we are going to go CLI then we are going to go into the configure there we go so over here what we are going to do is I first want to set up my password so you want to go set system uh, root authentication plain password you want to set your password because if you don't set your password it won't let you commit there we go so now we're good let's go ahead and do set 
or not set let's go ahead and edit interfaces and we are going to set GE 0 slash 0 slash 0 which is this one right here we are going to be using unit 0 um, family um, init for IPv4 address we are going to be using 20 that one that one that two and we are going to slash 24 right and we are going to assign this as a primary IP address oops primary IP address there we go then for the other one which is 20 that one that one that one I want to set as the um, slash 24 I want to set up as the prefer remember the prefer whenever you want to ping somebody if you want to ping router 3 over here it is going to use the primary if I'm going to ping somebody in my same subnet the same network I'm going to it's going to use the prefer so that's how it works so now you got a top and you can go ahead and commit your changes committed my changes let's see if I get any errors hopefully I don't get any errors there we go looking good now let's go ahead and go into VSRX2 and we are going to um, do the same we are going to go into root no password we are going to go into the CLI then we go into configure and over here we're going to do a uh, set system uh, root plane to set my password all right then we're going to edit um, edit uh, k interfaces uh, to do that we want to go to set ge 0 slash 0 slash 0 unit 0 which is a logical address or the logical interface then we do family then we go in it for ipv4 address 20 the one the one the four slash 24 it's going to be my prefer and then 20 the one the one the three slash 24 is going to be my primary we can go ahead and commit so right now if we try to ping um, my subnet over here if we do a run wrong ping 20 that one that one that's one which is the prefer right here it won't let you ping right now because we are using a vsrx and a vsrx is a juniper firewall and by default almost all the firewall every single firewall that you boot up it will deny all packets by default so therefore we need to configure it so it can allow ping so we are going to go into tab so we can allow ping we're going to go into edit security zones trust or oh, security zone security zone then we are going to go into trust we are going to add these interfaces into the trust interface vsrx2 we are going to add this one so set interfaces ge we are going to do a host inbound traffic system services and we're going to allow ping we can go ahead and commit let's go ahead and do the same for vxx1 edit security zones security zone trust zone we are going to set interfaces ge host inbound traffic system services ping commit there we go so we have committed so now if we do a wrong ping 20 that one that one 20 that one that one that three there we go so now i'm able to ping and when i ping this um this ip address which is in the same net network i'm going to be using the my prefer ip address so if i ping from on vsrx um if i ping a if i ping this ip address that's, that's in the same subnet as my as my prefer it is going to be pinned the prefer it's going to source the ip address from the prefer okay and so it would do it from vsrx2 if i ping if i ping somebody in my subnet it is going to use a prefer which is 21.1.4 and the prefer is 21.1.1 in this vsrx but if you go and ping the right over here 172.16.2.2 which is outside of my network it is going to use the primary 
and if ESRX pings um, something outside of its network or, it, or out of its subnet, like 172.16.102, it's going to be using the primary, which is 20.1.103. So this is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, why don't you guys go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one guys. Love you. Bye bye.